a thousand years from now, when we have a perfect understanding of cosmology, it will involve either an infinite universe or a finite one. All of the attempts so far to seriously come up with true laws of physics have involved infinity in one way or another. It doesn't mean the universe is physically infinitely big, but it might mean that between my fingers there are an infinite number of points, or there are an infinite number of possibilities for the quantum state of a single particle, much less a whole bunch of particles. So I don't think we should be afraid of infinity. It plays a role in our theories right now. We might end up being able to do without it, but it's, we should keep it on the table. Is the universe infinite? Or is it always a very big number, but it's never really infinity? So there's sort of two versions of that. Is the universe infinite in space? Is it infinitely big? And is it infinite in time? Does it last forever, either to the future or the past or both? So you can imagine, you know, four possibilities, <laughs> finite in space, finite in time, etc. The universe could be finite in space or infinite in space. It could be finite in time and infinite in time. Personally, I think it can't be both finite in space and infinite in time. And the reason why is because that would mean there's an only a finite number of things that can happen and infinitely long for them all to happen. So you just get into a Nietzschean recurrence where everything happens an infinite number of times and it doesn't make sense how to do it. If both are infinite, then we have a different kind of problem that we can't calculate anything. It's this it's official problem in cosmology known as the measure problem. When an infinite number of things happen for an infinite long period of time, how can you make sense of a question like, what is the probability that something happens? If the universe is finite in space and finite in time, then all the calculational problems go away, but you have a really bizarre universe. Like if there's only one universe that lasts a finite time and it's not that big, why does it look as weird as our universe does? So every possibility that is viable has what looks like a serious <laughs> problem, and that means that we don't yet know what we're doing really. So tell me right now, your opinion, tell me the secret. Universe, infinite or, or finite, time and space? I think the universe is infinite in both time and space. I think that that is our best hope for coming up with a natural and compelling explanation for the little part of the universe that we can actually see. It doesn't look typical. It doesn't look like you would expect. And I think the right way to account for that is to say, well, it's an outgrowth of a much, much bigger process, a process that goes on forever and will never end.